So this is for all my thermal hunters or anybody looking to get into the thermal market uh, target set up essentially. So I've got a steel target um, with a cardboard backing and then you'll also need uh, some of the aluminium tape, aluminium plumbers tape, get this off eBay, a whole roll for like $3. Uh, and then it's really up to you what you want to use to uh, for your target, like as in with the plumbers tape. I just cut mine up into a one inch um, little squares uh, and then I'll just put it in the center. But if you want to make something fancy, by all means, you can do that. Uh, however, all you really need is like a one inch square uh, and that'll get you in the ballpark of what you need to do. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is just because, like I said, the thermal targets these days or uh, that are hitting the market are just ridiculously expensive. Or if you use heat beads, they tend to wash out the image as they heat up. So you'll get them probably good for about five minutes. And then after that five minutes, it'll completely wash out the target and you won't actually be able to see where you're hitting. This doesn't do that. How this works essentially is you'll hit your start correction your target stand in uh to the ground and then you'll uh push it to the rear about 15 10 to 15 degrees just so that it's reflecting the uh, atmosphere the reason for that is that the atmosphere is cooler and then it'll reflect the opposite color palette that you have so for example if it's on white hot it'll reflect it as black hot uh, and then it'll come up nice and clear and it won't get any of that washing out effect or anything like that um, I can go through how I actually zero my thermal if you guys want. I just thought I'd show you this cheap target. I'll have a little demonstration of what this actually looks like through thermal so you get a better understanding. Most people should know this already. However, for those that don't, again, don't waste your money on the 80 bucks uh, or the $80 targets. Uh, go ahead and make your own. I'm telling you right now, it's, it's a, lot, a lot more worth it, to be honest, than uh, wasting your money on a single target for that amount of money. Um, yeah, like, I, look, to be honest, uh, I know people are going to be like, oh, but you can afford to spend $3,000 or $6,000 on a thermal scope. What, you know, it doesn't mean anything. I can go out and buy an $80 target. Look, they're, they're single targets, and if you're shooting different cables or chopping and changing constantly, this is just a cost-effective matter. Uh, this is a cost-effective method for you. I've had this roll of aluminium tape for three years now. Uh, and I still haven't used it up. Uh, it, look, at the end of the day, it's up to you guys of what you want to use. I'm just showing you what I do. So in the video here, you'll see the I have the target set up. Uh, you can see the little bit of aluminium tape I've got on it. Just point to note for that. This is currently at like perfect conditions for thermal, so you can can make it out. However, uh, if it's on like a hot day or my target has been set up for longer than like 10 minutes or so the aluminium tape will blend into the target when it's at that zero degree what i mean by zero degrees it hasn't been shifted backwards that 10 to 15 degrees you'll see in a minute that the target will change as uh the wind does me a bit of a solid here and it blows back because i dug in the hole to make it uh shift as it blows it'll shift into that 15 degree position and you'll see it just light up it's a perfect example of how this target works 